Why, hello everybody, this is Matthew here, and I'm back with a new Let's Play for this channel. You may you may be a little sad that I stopped Knit and Desktop Dungeons, but nah, they weren't really games that I really had fun playing. I mean, I have, I have fun playing them by, like, by myself, but trying to do a commentary as well, and since they're not really visually, I don't know, stimulating, I guess I could say... Um, you can't, there isn't really much to talk about going on in-game besides, oh, I fight this monster, oh, I died, uh-oh, ah, you know, things like that. So, I thought that I'd, um, get, get a game with better graphics and fun gameplay, gameplay that I have fun, even whether I'm doing a commentary or not, and I'll try to do a lot better of a commentary, um, playing the game. So if you wouldn't, if without further ado, this is Desktop Dungeons. As you can see in the bottom left corner, version 0 0.2. And it's by a guy named Derek Yu. And actually an indie developer company is developing version 1.0. And it's a severely revamped version of this original game. This is the original game and it's free and you can pre-order it on like at desktopdungeons.net or desktopdungeons.com or something like that. Just google desktop dungeons and it, you, you'll you'll know you'll know when you see it. So, um of course, with all role playing puzzle game thingies, there are races and there are some races that are unlocked. So, like with these two with the, these two races, you need to um, complete challenges, which are over here. And then, and there's gauntlet mode, and oh, all sorts of things. So, without further ado, let me be let me become a human fighter. So, I'll I'm just gonna go from left to right throughout this whole series with kind of like the gameplay and my statistics and all that stuff but I'm sure you're sick of me talking about what I'm going to do and I should just go ahead and go play on the a normal game wow what what an interesting spawn <laughs> oh yes and with the fighter you can see all the all the monsters that are at your level or below your level on the map. So those are all like level 1 monsters. And so basically in desktop dungeons to play you just click around and you go to different tiles. And when you see a monster. And I can't really point to it without pointing at it. But you see in on the right side you see like his stats. And that he has um, 4 health. And... If I hit him, I will have victory. So, I just click on him to hit him. And now that I have health lowered, I can either drink a health potion. Or, I just explore new parts of the dungeon. And this is running really slowly for me for some reason. Anyways see and those were gold coins now if I pick up gold coins they allow me to they allow me to um, buy different things in different shops now let's see this game is oh, my computer is running really slowly oh there we go that's better just magically got better now ah level one goblin Basically, you just go around fighting things and exploring the dungeon especially. And these are kind of like, I don't know, token thingies. They increase your stats here. Like, that one just increased the amount of damage that I do. Um, red ones with a cross or a plus sign increase the amount of health I get. And blue ones with an X um, increase the number of... Uh, the number of the amount of mana that I can have which I can use to put in magic skills and everything so I'm going to continue walking up here very slowly the game is running very slowly right now or it's just my computer really 
Um, so this is the level 2 goblin. Every once in a while you can try fighting um, different things, but once you walk away, their health heals right back up. And so does yours. So, that was kind of a stupid move. I might want to go... There we go. Uh, now these are glyphs, skill glyphs, and they cost mana to use. And so, like with th with this one, if an enemy is in your way, basically what you can do is you can just kind of use it for ten mana points, which is all that I have, and he just gets transported randomly somewhere in the dungeon. So, um, I really don't know what I want to do here. I might not pick that up. You, you, it's optional whether you want to pick things up or not, but it's recommended that you pick things up. Now, I'm over a shop, and shops sell different kinds of potions and skill glyphs and all sorts of things. Now, I don't have nearly enough gold on this save. I only have five gold with a maximum of 70, so I won't be able to buy anything. But anyways, let's continue. So you want to explore the dungeon. See that? That's when that other glyph would come in handy, but I don't need to use it. Yeah, I might have to. Um, probably. So, <laughs> see those skill glyphs are there for a reason. So. Oh, never mind. I could have just gone through here. Duh. So more, s more skill glyphs. Hmm. Uh, and you can always pick them up later. Gosh, this game is running really slowly right now on my computer. Raw. Gonna need a faster processor soon. Use the level one zombie. And you can see those green dots traveling very slowly at the moment. They kind of just exploded. I didn't expect that. But, anyways. I am now level 2, so I can probably actually successfully fight this guy. Hooray! So, and also this is a very big game on strategy. You really want to use as much strategy as possible when you're, like, and strategic thinking when you're exploring the dungeon. Because if you make a wrong move when fighting the boss, that can't be good for you. And the game just completely froze up on me. Anyways, might have to change my recorder. Because my computer is being slow. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm trying to um, beef up my commentary skills, and I just leveled up to level um three, and um, so yeah, because I'm not really good with commentaries. I want to make gameplay videos, and. It's actually very good practice for when I start making Minecraft videos. Okay. You weak, pathetic, pathetic, flimsy meat sack. I'll cleave your head open, crush your eyeballs into jelly, and tear your skin off. I'll boil your blood, crush your insides, and then drink it all out of your cracked and rotten, rotting skull. I'll stomp my boot upon your forsaken corpse until your wretched soul starts screaming in the afterlife. You shall die a thousand times over for crossing me. Not even the gods shall dare cross my path until I am done making your existence so miserable and so ridden with the nails of my club that history itself begs to forget you. Regards, Lord Gob. 
Um, how pleasant. <laughs> oh gosh, these bosses always have a, a an amazing sense of humor. Now, if you were wondering what these things were, these are temples. And basically, if you worship worship them, um, you have to follow their beliefs, so you can only attack certain kinds of monsters. And also, you have to um, um, yeah. So yeah, this one, uh, this this god, um, she she does doesn't like violent behavior, so that's kind of a minus, I'd say, because then you can't go around killing things. And what if you can't go kill that level ten goblin there? The world may come to an end. No, probably not. But anyways, um, gosh, my computer's being slow. <laughs> this, sadly, this commentary is gonna be just me talking about how slow my computer is for the whole duration of it. Probably because of my recorder. It's a Quite a strange recorder, actually. It's nice, it's free, it's open source. we go. <laughs> there are just random times when the game runs slowly and then it starts running faster again. Okay. So yeah, this seems like a pretty successful dungeon trip. Um. Gosh, you still haven't leveled up yet. So, but I am kind of running out of time. Because YouTube does have a 15 minute limit on its videos. So, sadly, I have to go, but I will see you. We'll start off right here, actually, probably not in probably like 10 minutes, right off here from where we are at the moment. Um, in my next episode and commentary of Desktop Dungeons. I hope to see you guys, well, I will see you guys, and we'll, you'll see me, you'll listen to me in the next video. I really need to work on my <laughs> endings, um, but yes, I will talk to you guys later.